Hi guys, what's up? This is Shubhuri from eGadgets for you. Now in this video, I will show you how to upgrade to the latest OS in your MacBook or your MacBook Pro that is the El Capital. Now if I go to the Apple logo over here and see about this Mac, you see that it runs on the OS version of 10.10.5 which is Yosemite. So I'll just go and show you how to upgrade from Yosemite to El Capita. Once I go to a app store, I hit on updates. Make sure you are connected to the internet. See over here, it says OS 10 El Capitan free upgrade. So you just need to go ahead and press the free upgrade over here. It will ask for your Apple ID and password. So let me just go ahead and give it. After some time, you will see that it has started downloading the OS. So it says 29.4 MB of 6.08 GB, 49 minutes remaining. So just need to give that particular time once this particular OS has been downloaded. You can minimize this particular option over here and from the launch pad also you can also track the download process over here. So I'll just crop the video for now and start once the download has completed fully over here. Now you can see that the download is nearing completion. So 6.04 GB out of 6.08 GB has been downloaded already. So you just need to wait that extra bit till the other things are also completed. Once the download has completed, it's, it states that it's installing and less than a minute is remaining. So just wait for it till the installation also completes over there. Now it says download it and obviously it has been installed. So we just need to hit continue over here. And this is the terms and conditions. End of the day you have to agree to it. So just hit agree. Again, agree. So it will just ask you to choose where the installation of the new OS of El Capitan will be done. It, I am choosing the Macintosh HD. So I hit install. Okay. Uh, since I am not connected to a power source, it's asking me. So I have to connect it to a power source, which I am doing it currently. It's being done. So it's asking for my password over here. Okay. I have given the password. So you see a progress bar uh, appears over here. It says preparing to install your computer will restart automatically. So just need to wait till the computer restarts. Okay. Again it says that you have the restart button over here. So I'm going ahead and pressing the restart. Okay. It asking me to close the other application. So I'll just hit close applications. Okay. And now finally my MacBook Pro restarts. Okay just automatically the Apple logo comes and a progress bar appears over there so just need to wait sit back relax until the full process has completed in the progress bar over here so you need to give that particular bit of time I may crop the video but I'll come up when again a new screen appears just you will see that it says installing in about 31 minutes remaining so you need to give that particular time still the full installation process has completed on my MacBook Pro Finally, after waiting for a long time, you will see that the status changes to completing installation about 11 minutes remaining. So just need to give that particular time to complete the installation on the final parts. I'll catch you guys once a new screen after the completion of the installation comes along. You see once the installation has been completed, it will restart and ask for the password of your iCloud. So I'll just go ahead and give the password for now. Then just hit continue. Now again it gives you the set of terms and conditions which you need to agree at the end of the day. So just hit agree. The status changes to setting, setting up your Mac. So just give the time and once it's done, it asks for the Java command line and stuff like that. That is already pre-installed in my MacBook Pro. Okay, now once the installation has been done, I'll just go to the Apple logo, hit about this Mac. And you see it successfully upgraded to OS X version 10.11 that is El Capitan. That's it guys. Hope this video helps. I'll just use the new OS in my new MacBook Pro for some few days and come up with another video with the detailed features that comes along with the OS X El Capitan. Bye for now.